If you do not have a curvature map, make sure to bake one for this tutorial. Click on the New Layer button in the Layers panel. Name it something like Normal Details to keep track of your layers. Make sure under the Brush Outline Cursor option, you have the Full Preview Cursor option selected. This will allow you to see the preview of your brush in the viewport. In the Properties panel, deselect all the material maps except Normal, since this is the only map we need for this layer. In the Textures panel, locate a normal texture map and drag it onto the Normal field in the Properties panel. Use the left mouse button and click once to place the normal texture map on your 3D model. Add a new material to the top of the layer stack. Add a black mask to the new material layer. Add a generator to the black mask and choose Metal Edgeware. Select the layer that needs the detail. Right click on the layer you want to anchor to. From the context menu, select Add Anchor Point. To add the generator as the reference, select the generator and in the Properties panel, scroll down until you see Micro Normal. Select the Micro Normal field and then select the Anchor Points tab. Under the Anchor Points tab, select the anchor point you just made. You also need to change the reference channel to the normal channel, since this is the channel we're using to apply the normal texture maps to. In the Properties panel, find the Micro Details section. Twirl the Micro Details section open and change the Micro Normal to True. Using anchor points in Substance Painter is a great way to add normal details while maintaining a non-destructive workflow. 